Now that we've gone over all of the mechanics and, and many of the drills that I want you to use, let's talk about how do we practice putting. I, I think back to two different people that have influenced my decision on how I think you should practice your putts. First and foremost, I go back to my time with Harvey Penick and hearing all the great stories about how Ben Crenshaw learned to putt with his dad when he was seven, eight years old at Austin Country Club, just rolling the ball around the green. One ball, them competing day in and day out. In 1999, 2000, 2001, I spent a lot of time working with Noda Begay while he was, before he was injured playing on the PGA Tour. And we played a lot of practice rounds with Tiger Woods and saw how Tiger practiced a lot. And one of the things that I noticed about his practice, at that point in time, he and Mark O'Meara were very close friends and playing a lot of golf together. And the one thing that I always observed, Mark and Tiger practiced in a putting contest almost daily where they would putt for 18 holes, one ball, keeping score, just like we play on the golf course. I think back to Mr. Penick's advice of what he saw Ben Crenshaw and Ben's father do, and I think that's wonderful advice. If you can find a friend or if you have children or grandchildren that you would like to get out with and teach them the game of golf, there's not a better way to learn to play the game than to enjoy spending some time with them on the putting green with one ball chasing that ball around the green, keeping score, and, and make it worth a glass of iced tea or something later for you. Just a little bit of pressure, bragging rights after you get home, something so that you can simulate that pressure that you feel on the 17th and 18th hole when you're coming down the stretch. I think the way you practice will greatly influence your success on the golf course. So find a friend, go out there and compete. If you don't have anyone that you're putting with that day, keep score for 18 holes. and see how you do and compare tomorrow's round with today's and keep that practice going and I think you'll certainly see your improvement on the green. I hope this series really helps you become a great putter and really makes you enjoy the game for life.